Hey, hey, so listen. So I told myself that I was going to come on and do a video with regards to, you know, something I know a little something about. Aunties, godparents, basically your female counterparts who are your bonus parents, if you will. Right? So in full disclosure, I don't have children. But I have birth. Don't have those, right? And um, I'm going to do a video about that too. That's going to come at a later time. So in the meantime, in between time, I'm just sitting on my porch. If you hear a little sound, that's my fan. I'm just on my rich auntie vibes, listening to music, eating my food. Just cool. Because that's what, that's what aunties do. We just be cool. But anyways, so... As I call them bonus parents, because most of the time that's what they become, right? So I just wanted to kind of dig in a little bit to that because most of the time, you know, whether or not you are best friends with your sibling or whether y'all are, you know, distant, generally when a kid comes along, like that kind of, you know, brings families together, right? that can kind of bridge the gap a lot of times. It does not fix relationships, but a lot of times it will allow y'all to be in each other's life for, you know, in, in uh, when during times when maybe y'all wouldn't even been in each other's life, right? Just for the sake of the kid, birthdays, et cetera, so forth, whatever, right? Family gatherings, you know. So, um, you know, you you an auntie by virtue of blood, by virtue of hey, you are older cousin, but because you're older, it's auntie. You an auntie when it's hey, you're my uh, the, the mom's best friend. Then it's not Miss such and such. Just that's your auntie. You know, just you you an auntie by virtue of love and respect, right? Not always position, but but an auntie, um by honor right so you know that's different than god moms god dads because a lot of times they're picked right a lot of times you know um a parent may say hey i want you to be my god my kid god parent or whatever you know sometimes people ask i have asked before you know to be the god parent <clears throat> of you know one of my god kids and um sometimes you just want to be a part of their, their 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 kids life or their life for whatever reason so you know you attach yourself to them via the child right um now generally speaking whenever it's god parents you know because either the parent picks you or you pick the parent um you know, back in the day, because I had a godparent, right? I had a godmom. And it was because she was, her and my mom, they were best friends, so my mom got pregnant with me, right? Now, as the years passed, her and my mom fell out, but she never fell out with me, right? So even once her and my mom made up years and years down the line, I still had... I always kept a, a, a huge level of respect for her because no matter what her and my mom went through, she never, she never distanced herself from me. Um, and she, she never made me feel what they were going through, right? I see that's grown woman stuff right now. Because children really should never feel whatever you and that person are going through. Even when it's you and the dad. Whether it's, or you and their grandparent, children should not have to feel the brunt of those adult concerns. But that's why our generation got it all mixed up. At we'll have we have the kids all in through and between grown people stuff, and and, and we 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 big grown for that, right? So, anyways, shout out to my god, my man, rest in peace. But anyways, I said. The, the, the godparent piece because back in the day 
you know, my mom told me that my God on my ass to be my God parent, you know. Um, now, my mama probably would have picked her best friend. But because my God on my ass, she allowed her, right? And I say that because a lot of times in this generation, when people are picking God parents, they pick based on pockets. They, they they try to pick the person who don't have no kids and they think that person's going to have extra coins to dump your way. Now, I'm not speaking for a lot of people, but I am speaking for some people because I know what I'm talking about. And they pick their godparents based on pockets versus based on who that person really is and, and what that person can, can add to their child's life, Right? And I'm not going to say that that's a, a totally crazy, far-fetched idea saying, oh, well, let me pick somebody. Because initially, when you think about it, it sounds good. That I'm going to pick somebody who don't have no kids because then if I need them to babysit, they can babysit. And then, you know, if I need some, they're probably going to have extra money. Well, see, here's the problem with that. Right? When you pick someone like me to be your God, your, your kid's godparent. One thing I don't have a whole lot of extra is time, right? So if you thought you was going to get a, a, a built-in babysitter with me, then you thought wrong. Because generally my extra time is spent trying to trying to establish myself and trying to, you know, make a way for my lifestyle and, and make a way for, you know, me to be comfortable in retirement and, and in life in general. So I spend a lot of my extra time trying to come up with ways and do this do that jiggle you know money making schemes right so i wouldn't be the person to have a whole lot of extra time for your kid even though i don't have them right um and if you say well hey you know since they don't have kids then they're gonna have some money every time i need some no no, no. the problem with that idea is that okay well they don't have no kids they probably don't get no food stamps either unless they're on disability they probably don't have HUD or, or, or Section 8 or housing. That means they're paying the full rent of that, right? So so that alone says, hey, they may not have a whole lot of extra money to dump your kid away, right? So that's why I say that sounds good until you get into the depths of what you're saying, right? So that's why I, I say instead of picking pockets, when you're picking your, your godparents, you, you need to be picking based on that person. Because you don't know what people's pockets look like. Right? So, let's go back to the, the, the siblings and, and the aunts. And, because I see this, and, I, and I'm really talking about this meme that kind of like goes around and says, well, hey, if the kid is not, <clears throat> you're not talking to my kid, then, you know, you can't be around me, etc. and so forth. What y'all got to realize is that a lot of stuff on Facebook, it just sounds good. But when you really think about it, do it make sense? Do it, and, and, and if it does make sense for one situation or circumstance, does that mean that it makes sense for every situation or circumstance? Does it mean that it makes sense for your situation and circumstance? Right? Because let's say, hypothetically speaking, you have a kid. Bridges the gap. We all good. First couple years, you know, and... Everybody kicking in, doing what they can for the for the kid. On year five, something happens, and hey, y'all not that great no more. So now all of a sudden, your 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 um the auntie or the uncle is not supposed to come around the kid, cause you and them had having whatever y'all have going on. When for the last five years they don't built a relationship with this kid or these children, and. They've been helping you co-parent. They've been kicking out money towards this kid. They've been kicking out their time, picking up this kid from daycare, school, participating in events. Um, they've been co-parenting. They've been acting as a bonus parent. So now all of a sudden, because you and them have a situation going on, now they can't be around your kids. You got to make that make sense because it does not. And ain't nothing you could tell me to make that make sense. Right? Because... Here it is. If a person has been there for you, that's one thing. But when a person has been there for you and your child, and then you get in your feelings, 
and then you you try to uh push that one particular person back or away because you have your issues with that person. What you doing? Why you doing it? Right? Because to me, what that says is that you don't care nothing about the relationship that your child has built with, the, with, with, with these people. Because you and your feelings, and you can't think outside of your feelings, now you want to run interference on their relationship. Right? Because maybe you can't get what you used to get from that person. Now you you willing to sink the whole ship and, 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 and go down with it too. And how selfish of that? How, how, how selfish of you is that? Right? Because I hear that a lot. So I understand that if I have seen that or have had some experiences with that, I know other people are having that experience too. Right? Even to the point where there are people who they have built bonds with your children. And, you know, when you snatch those kids back, that hurt them. I have seen people cry over other people's kids. It won't be now and day I cry over that nobody else's kids. But that's just me. Because I have seen people be hurt. Like, oh, you know, I used to see them. I used to spend time and I should not let me come around. Da, 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 da. Because they have a bond with them kids. They love them kids, you know. Now, that may be a situation where hey, you might have been overly loving someone. Maybe you should not have formed those attachments with someone else's child in that way, right? Because, you know, we as women, we do form unhealthy attachments to, 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 to people. Whether it's men, whether it's kids, whether it's whoever it is, we have the habit of forming unhealthy attachments sometimes. So sometimes we have to check ourselves when it comes to forming those attachments. But nevertheless, they get formed, right? So then you have, like I said, you have a person who they in their feelings and they willing to disrupt the whole situation. And I say, you just make sure that you... Make sure that when you do that, if you that person doing that, that you really know what you're doing. Because see... The reality is that even if you hurt that person feeling by pulling your child or whomever away, what you doing and you doing it for the wrong reason, you will see somebody by that. You will, you, you gonna see somebody by that. You may not see that person about it because that person may give you that tell the kids and keep it moving. But don't think that your negative actions won't come back and hunt you and perhaps maybe that's why you go through some of the things you go through maybe that's why you stuck in some of the situations you stuck in because you 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 go so hard to to, to make sure that search certain situations and and and, and 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 things certain situations and bonds are are broken or not formed right and then even to the point where i have seen situations where People will allow their children to go with people who have even abused them or people who, you know, they barely they barely know them or barely have relationships with them. But your kid could go off with them. But then people who you know your kid already have a bond with because you don't like them. Oh, no. Oh, no. They can't go. I don't see kids be crying because they want to go with people and their parents just, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm, you know, so. I, you know, I challenge you to, excuse me, my nose be running with the span. But anyways, I challenge you to rethink some of your, some of your selfishness. You know what I'm saying? Rethink that because at the end of the day, like I said, you're not gonna hurt that person. You're not gonna hurt that person, and even if that that person's feelings is hurt in the meantime, guess what? They are gonna get over it. But you're gonna do more damage to yourself by with with the negative evil seeds that you're sowing. You're going to do more damage to yourself than you ever could do to that person. So you might want to rethink that. You might want to rethink that. Especially if it's a person that, you know, they kind of like me. The shoe, they, they, they on their rich auntie vibes. I ain't too much you could do to, 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 to set them back, baby. They're good. You know what I'm saying? So you be, you, you'll be spending your will for days, for months and years, trying to, you know, bring some type of hurt or harm they way, you know what I'm saying? Unless the unless the good good Lord allows it, right? But yeah, <clears throat> let me let me touch on the, the the God parent stuff too, because like I said, usually a God parent is either asked for 
um, they either ask to be in that kid's life or they're they're chosen by that parent. And I say they usually, a lot of times, they have been chosen for the wrong reasons. They have been chosen just based on what what that that parent may have felt that that person could 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 bring financially to the table. So I just want to just say this: when you choose a godparents, don't let popularity be in that thing. Don't let popularity be in that thing because God forbid something happens to you as a parent. And then this person here is the person standing in the gap for you. This is the God parent. You want that person to be a replica, a, a replica or a certain type of representation of who you are. Right? And a lot of times, just because that person is a popular person, their goals and morals may not even light a candle to, 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 to yours. But yet you've chosen this person because they had a bag or because they had, you know, a name in the city. You chose this purpose person to represent you as a mom, right? As a play mom, as a bonus mom, and call them your child's god mom. Now, you entitled to do it. You entitled to do it. And, hey, I don't, I don't knock people for whatever decisions you make i just say make sure you can be accountable for it make sure you can stand on it make sure that you made your decisions for the right reasons right because a lot of times certain things come back to see you you know um and i say this you know make sure that that god parent thing isn't a one-way street understand me because just like you won't or you're going to be expecting the god mom to get your kids stuff for birthdays, holidays, this, that, and third. Okay, make sure that you're able to do the same thing. Make sure you're able to return the favor. And that when your child gets of age, that you have taught them to say, hey, you know, it's your godmama's birthday. Go ahead and call your godmama tell her happy birthday. You know, um, your godmama, uh, you know, she's sick. Call and check on them. You know what I'm saying? Now, don't get me wrong. I'm not saying do this for deadbeat godparents you know or whatever what i'm saying if you have a bonus parent like whether it's auntie whether your child called them auntie or godmom or whatever when you have a bonus parent somebody who is standing in the gap for you a lot of times and that person showing up for your kid when you have a person doing that make sure that you teach them to reciprocate that it ain't just a one-way thing. It ain't just a, you know, get on the phone and call them a couple days for your birthday and be like, you know my birthday coming up, but I want such and such. No, teach them kids to call them and check on them and see how they doing. Two, right? Don't teach your kids to be selfish. Because, see, all you thought about was what that child, what that, what that person or what that couple could bring to the table. You never had it in your mind and in your heart what you was going to do for them because they did bring something to your table. You never you never thought about that. You only thought about what you was going to take. Never thought about what you was going to be able to give back. Right? And true enough, if you like me, a lot of times you'll be like, girl, don't worry about that. Don't do it. You know? But it's the thought and it's the principle behind it. Because one day them kids going to be grown. Right, and if you have a person who has helped you all eighteen all eighteen years of this kid life, and once they get grown, okay, that child should already know they should be reciprocating by eighteen. Hey, let me check on my god, mama. That's let me check on auntie. Let me you like that child should you should have instilled that in them by that time. If this person has been there for you and they helped you throughout, you know did stuff for the kid helped you throughout their years now when that kid is grown that kid should already know hey did this did this family this family whether it's blood or not you know so yeah so i'm gonna just leave y'all with those thoughts you know when you picking god parents make sure you showing love back to them in return um make sure you picking the right type of people um for the right reasons to be around your children um make sure that you are not um you know, carrying your grudges or allowing your grudges to get in between the relationships and the bonds that, you know, other people form with your children, right? Now, don't 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 get it twisted. I'm not talking about when people have 
um, done your children wrong. Um, and I'm not even talking about when, you know, sometimes people just blatantly disrespect you in front of those kids and just dog you out and talk about you to them kids and, you know, stuff like that where you have to forcibly say, you know what, you can't do that. You can't keep doing that. Or I can't allow that to happen. Now, when it's situations like that, yes, you can understand that. But when that person don't even mention you to them children and, and everything they do has nothing to do with you, right? They could be around your kid. They could buy your kid all kind of stuff. Don't ask you for a court. They could take your kid all kind of places, foot the whole bill. You never come up. When you know that, that that person has always been genuine and had nothing but good intentions, nothing but protective priorities over your child, and then you try to run interference and, and, and disrupt the bond, what'll happen is, <laughs> what'll happen is, it'll, it'll, life could play out in a way where that person be the only person available or around to even take care of your kid or spend time with your kid. You might be done died or something. Or uh, uh, be uh, 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 even more, not even be dead, but be paralyzed where you can't do nothing but watch it. You can't do nothing but sit back and watch the bun that you tried to break grow even stronger. Like, don't do that. Like, man, listen, this life is real. Things happen. Things happen. And they don't have nothing to do with like like you would be surprised the, the, the spin on life that God can allow or will allow. Like you have to be be very careful of the, of, of the tricks and the traps that you try to lay for people, right? Especially people who are doing good by you, who have done good by you, right? And I say that because you know I think a lot of times, and I'm and I'm speaking for myself, but I believe I've seen this enough to say that a lot of times when you don't have children. Um, or when once people see that you have a you know a special bond or a special affiliation association with the child or something, people try to use that, right? People think that I'm gonna show enough get done with this, but you ain't gonna show enough get done with that. You you ain't you gonna show enough get yourself jammed up with that. Because you have the wrong intentions. Because this person has already poured into your life and, and poured into your kid life when they didn't have to. And they did. And then, now here it is. You moving like you moving. And then you wonder why you're sad or you're depressed and you, you, your mind all over the place. And Because it's the things you done did in life. It's the things, the traps and snares that you done tried to lay. You know, because see, what you got to realize is that a lot of times, people be blessed. People be blessed, and God keep blessing people, right? Because these people be, it don't, it, it don't have to be that they be the greatest people, that they done done everything right, but they hard be towards trying to do right, trying to make the best decision, trying to live the best life that they can. And when you have people like that, that's, that's in your life and on your team, and they, Spend time and and and, and 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 make investments in your kids, whether it's monetary, whether it's spiritually, whether it's emotionally. Like, and here you let the devil use you and try to run interference, man. Listen, I right, play with it. But anyways, nevertheless, um, I think the conversation. I think what I was saying. I was saying that, like, yeah, I said that. That you know, people people think because you don't have kids that they can play with you when it comes to their kids. But like I say, and I encourage other people, do not get overly attached to other people's kids because it's people who have who have ill intentions and they going to try you when it come to you know that's the first thing they're gonna do is pull back that relationship. Because they just trying to get to you. They're trying to hurt you. They, so so the best thing you can do is don't get overly invested in other people's children, items, things, money. No. The only thing you can be overly invested in is, is things that's for you and, and, and from you. Because when it has to do with other people, they can snatch it back so fast. And they do that. And people do that. And they try to play with you and play on your emotions. That's why you have to be strong. You have to be you have to have a source that you tap into. Right? That 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 gives you strength. That gives you um 
you know, gives you discernment, gives you the ability to keep moving even when the snares and traps are laid for you, right? So that it doesn't, you know, take control of you, you know. Now, don't don't get me wrong. Now, sometimes, you know, I done been through things and I'm like, hey, I'm cussing, I'm going off, I'm, I'm, hey, hey, I'm finna set some, some traps and some snares. If I'm feeling something, you finna feel something too. Been there, done that. Been there, done that. Ain't nothing you can tell me about that. You hear me? I don't feel like you, you too many gonna do it better than me. Cause I'm gonna make I, I was under the the, the, the guys that I'm gonna make you feel me one way or the other. You know what I'm saying? But but <clears throat> that ain't the way. You know what I'm saying? That ain't the way. You 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 let God do what God gonna do and God gonna do God, right? So anyways, yeah. So that's my whole spiel on the aunties and God moms. And shout out to all y'all. Shout out to the God moms and the aunties. The the the, the people who y'all y'all spend y'all money. Y'all show up on first days of school. Y'all take all the pictures at the birthday parties. Y'all buy the biggest Easter baskets. Y'all shout out to y'all. You know what I'm saying? When you when you're really the ones who do it genuinely from their heart because they love them babies because they crazy about that little boy. They crazy about that little girl. The ones who do it for those reasons because you got a lot of people who try to do that just because they they want to be the person that oh yeah such and such about that oh yeah such and such about that he can't even crawl or such and such about this ride and thing like i ain't talking about all that that's for a whole nother topic i'm talking about the people who genuinely show your children love and they don't have to they may not be blood related to them but they show them love as if they are blood related to them. And even when they are blood, because sometimes we already know blood will do you the, the worst sometimes. So when you do have people who are blood related, they're not molesting your kids. They're not abusing your kids. They're not cussing your kids out, calling them all out their name and, and, and talking to them, you know, crazy. And I ain't talking about when you have to discipline them kids. I ain't talking about that. Because sometimes you do have to discipline kids, but now discipline don't have to include you cussing them out. Discipline don't have to in include that. You know what I'm saying? Discipline don't don't have to. It's discipline and, and it's ridiculousness. You know what I'm saying? I'm not talking about that. But nevertheless, <clears throat> shout out to y'all who you, you invest in, and sometimes even overly invest into other children's life and other people like just trying to make it better. Just the fact that you see a need and you try to meet that need. Um, cause it takes special people to do that. You know, when you see something going on in a person household and you know, they coming up short and it's just, you know, you may not even have a whole bunch to throw at that problem, but what you have, you want to try, you know what I'm saying? I know you need some food. I just want to put something in, in, in your hand or in your refrigerator. I, I, I can look at him and tell he needs some shoes, them shoes too. Look, look how them shoes look. Like I'm going to the store and buy him some. I don't care if they Reeboks. I don't care if they Nikes. I don't care if they Adidas. Uh, like they don't have to be Gucci. They don't have to be Balenciagas or uh, 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 Alexander McQueen's. They don't have to be none of that. You know what I'm saying? I'm just mean the need. I don't care. I don't have to go and get her a uh, 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 a fancy, expensive Dolce & Gabbana, Moschino sundress. I could go right in the Walmart and turn it upside down and have her looking like the cutest little girl you ever seen. You hear me? Like, and, 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 and it's people who do that out of, off the strength of, of that's who they are. And, and they saw the need and they just wanted to meet it. They just wanted to, they just wanted to be a giver. They just wanted to... To, 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 to give life and speak life and, and they just wanted to do that little girl hair because it was a mess. I was I remember being, I was a head star teacher at Florence Fuller. Shout out to Florence Fuller and um, Boca. And it used to be a lot of little girls coming to my class and they had one done. And that was a pet peeve of mine that they had one done. And um, especially if they were like mixed, I really had an issue with that. Cause I'm like, hey now, you gonna be dealing with these? Hey, if the men gonna be dealing with other women and women, y'all gonna be dealing with uh, men of other cultures, then y'all need to tap in to see how to um, do these kids hair. Don't be sending them to school looking any kind of way. I didn't like that. But of course that ain't nothing I could tell my parents. You know, but you know what I did? Went and got some hair stuff. Went and got bows and 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 and, and brushes and, and stuff for their hair. And during nap time, I was doing heads while they were asleep. Yeah, and I probably should have asked first. I should have, but the look on their mama face, 
I done had parents come in there that didn't even recognize their kid, picking their kid up from, 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 from my class. You hear me? Then I had other little girls that were saying, can you do my hair? Sure I can. Because I understand that. I understand that a simple hairdo, but look here, that turned your whole, uh, man, listen, a hairdo will turn your whole disposition. Right? So, listen, shout out to the to, to, to people who are really invested in these kids. And, and you, you know, you you the, the, the unsung heroes. People don't even know the stuff that you do. They don't even know all the, 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 the investments that you make. Whether it's time, whether it's effort, whether it's spending money. People don't even know. Man, pe people don't have a clue. One thing I can tell you is that the Lord knows I know I know boy took me away some blessings. Because one thing I believe in, I do believe in being good to children. I do believe that. I, I believe in treating children accordingly, right? And I believe accordingly means being good to them because why not? They're children. They're young. They have, you know, they have not made their, their impression on life yet, you know? And you are the person who they're going to look to to see how they're supposed to treat people in life. So I, I believe in being good to kids. You hear me? So anyways, that's that. I have a good one.